Hello friends, this video on data handling part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now based on whatever we have learned so far, let us quickly look at some of the questions. Question number 1. Catherine threw a dice 40 times and noted the number appearing each time as shown below. Make a table and enter the data using tally marks. So you see this time, in this example, we see that 40 times a dice was thrown. So you actually have 40 data, which is a huge set of data. So how do we represent it using uh, tally marks? So first we identify all the possible options, like what are the possible outcomes in a dice? So the possible outcomes in a dice would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Other than these six numbers, is there any other possibility? Because when you look at the dice, you see oh, there are six surfaces and on each surface you have one of these numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6. So it doesn't matter how many number of times you throw a dice, you will get one of these numbers only. Okay, so the table that will be formed would look somewhat like this. So the possible outcomes are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now let us put the tally marks. That is how many times 1 is getting repeated. So we start from here. So 1 again, 1 here. So we put another mark. A 1 here, another mark. 1 here, another mark. 1 here. So the fifth mark would be like this. Even after that, we have a one here, one here. So that, that's all for one. Let's do the same thing for two. So two starts from here. After that here, again here. Then we have it here. And after that here. So the fifth one is across. Then here. And then we do not have any further. So in a similar fashion, we put the tally marks for all the possible outcomes. So when we do it for 3, we get a 5 again. For 4, we get a 4. For 5, 5 is repeated huge number of times. So this is what we get for 5. And for 6, this is what we get. So in this fashion, we fill the column for tally marks and now the number of times is nothing but the frequency this is just writing the tally marks in number so this group is 5 so 5 plus 2 is 7 here this is 5 plus 1 is 6 this is 5 this is 4 this is 5 plus 5 plus 1 that is 11 this is 5 plus 2 which is 7 so in this fashion we could prepare the table using tally marks now, we have to answer a few questions. Find the number that ap appeared minimum number of times. So, which number got repeated minimum number of times? So, number of times minimum value is 4. And which number was repeated minimum number of times? It was 4. The maximum number of times. Maximum value is 11. And 11 is for which number? It is for 5. So 5 was repeated 11 times. So that is the maximum number of times. Find those numbers that appear an equal number of times. So do you see same number of times for two numbers? Yes, we do see that 7. So 1 was repeated 7 number of times and 6 was also repeated for 7 number of times. So 1 and 6. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.